Good afternoon, and welcome to Code Green here on ThinkTech Hawaii. I'm Ethan Allen, guest hosting in here for Howard Wig. Uh, code Green is all about building codes, new novel solutions for building, uh, new ideas, great, great thoughts on how to make building better. I have with me uh, Mary Jo Masters. Welcome, Mary Jo. Thank you. She's with 808 Building Supplies and Solutions, if I recall the name. And we're going to be talking about uh, some uh, new technologies that are uh, for sort of insulating or uh, a combination, I guess, of insulating and promoting airflow at the same time. That's sort of. right. Yeah. Um, so that's, a, that's an interesting issue with, with buildings, right? You, you can't, you don't want to seal them airtight. No. And yet you do want to have a building that, that holds, holds heat or cool in, depending upon. Right. Yeah. So right. how do you balance those? Well, um, <laughs> Good question. Um, the, the really exciting news is, as far as insulation goes, um, Panasonic have come out with something that's almost, um, it's revolutionized the, the type of insulation that we currently have. Mm -hmm. it, um, it's about one inch thickness, as you can see here, and that it has an R60 value, which is like a regular um, insulation bat takes 15 times the thickness to create that same uh, size. You have to have 15 of the standard fiberglass that, insulation bats stacked right, on top of one another. To R60. make R60. And you got, you got that, here, that equals you know, an inch. You know, one inch. Yeah. Wow. And, um, and the little half inch one there shows uh, that's about an R30. Uh -huh. okay. And so it, um, what that is, is um, it's fiberglass inside a uh, package. Uh, it's 70% recycled material, non-toxic, and it's got um, a little layer inside of um, an absorbent material in case there's any molecules of wetness. But it, the, the, the essential thing about it is that it has um, a vacuum. And vacuums will not allow thermal transmission. So in that sense, you get a really great um, thermal insulation. Right, like a, a classical coffee thermos, right? Which was basically a, a, a tube within a tube, basically a vacuum between your coffee and the outside, right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. And somehow they, they put a vacuum inside this, basically. So you, yes. have, you have some sort of thin supporting material with some sort of matrix keeping it from being squashed flat by the air pressure. That's right. Okay. And, it, and it comes in different sizes mm -hmm. so that you can use it for um, roof decks. You can mm -hmm. use it in walls. Mm -hmm. You can use it in floors for refrigeration. You can use it in a variety of ways with this thinness. And um, some people approach it different ways in terms of, um, right. right. The, some, the, the image on the screen showing us some of the different ways it can be used. Right, right? on, yeah. yeah. Um, and so like, if you, if you wanted to put it into poly ISO or in EPS panels, SIP panels, you could do that. And that, that protects it because the one caveat about this is that you must not puncture that vacuum. Right, that ruins the whole it, thing. It ruins the right. whole thing. Right, so you can't mm -hmm. cut these. These pa panels have to stay intact when Correct. you use them. Correct, that's right. right. Ah, but that's great. I mean, you, you can envision that you can make uh, little coolers for things much lighter, smaller, with a that's lot less right. wasted space. Yeah. That'd be much more effective and less keep your stuff cooler or hotter for longer periods. Correct. As well as using it in much larger scale building yep. technologies. Well, that's, that's pretty incredible that, that really they, they've actually figured out how to use a, hold a vacuum with a very thin material like that. There must, there must be a rigid matrix of some sort inside keeping it from being collapsing. Well, right? it, it's, it's a, what it is is um, fiberglass that's been arranged in a, in, a, in a very specific pattern versus a random pattern that normal bats would be. Right. So that arrangement as well as the vacuum is what the, the vacuum is 90% okay. of the thermal right. insulating is right. the vacuum itself but yeah, yeah so t any everything from tiny homes that are being built mm -hmm. projects and and different uh, everything in the in in Alaska and Antarctica i mean you name it it's it's really starting to get its own legs because 
Well, it deserves consideration. Yeah, no, as you say, this, this is really, I mean, that's an incredible difference if you think about that. Uh, those bats are, what, two or three inches thick usually, right? And that's just for, for yeah, like for one R of those. three, right. I mean, R5 or something. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so you're, right. you're talking a huge stack yeah, of insulation right. versus this one inch. And right. so, yeah, that's, that's incredibly powerful. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, and obviously they figured out somehow to make it, although I guess it costs maybe a little more per square foot than standard insulation, but nonetheless you're going to get a great, great savings sort of over the long term with it. That. That's right, because um, as we know, heat and cold can be detrimental to, to our building envelope. Right. They really can. And, um, and so um, in terms of saving the, the construction materials, in terms of um, less water buildup, things like that, it really does... It does help having that isolation, that insulation. Right, right. Yeah. Because both, uh, yeah, here in Hawaii, of course, we uh, the issue often is keeping things cool rather than keeping things hot. Right. But with this uh, material like this, if you can get some decent airflow through a building, yeah, the, uh, odds are it'll probably stay reasonably cool. If it's, right. right. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other, the other, some of these other products I I'm uh, wanting to show you today are to do with ventilating because this is insulating right. but but there are some other products that are pretty pretty great that have um, ventilation yeah. as their premise right so this is what we were talking about at the very start of the show is you've got to somehow balance those two right yeah yeah it, it helps to have insulation but also you need ventilation right classic sick building syndrome so-called a buildings that have been too tightly sealed and, and don't get enough air turnover and begin people in them again having that, problems, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I think um, there might be a, another slide, perhaps, that we could um, bring up. I'm not sure. Oh, yep, that's that's more of the um, that's a cross section of, of the of the Panasonic VIP. Right. The cross layer. Um, yeah, fibers that, sh that shows that they, the fibers and, and the graph and, at the top showing that tremendous R60 value of that stuff. It's uh, an incredible. Yeah. It's a game changer. Yeah. And then the next um, slide, perhaps is going to be showing about um, ventilating a, a home or yeah and so what you've got on the sides is um, some ventilation for it's called it, they're furring strips that that they show vertically that mm -hmm. give you a layer in between the siding and the um, and the house itself and so um, and then on the edges, you see the, the, the blue arrows are an indicator of, um, of the eave intakes. And then the, the red arrows show where it comes out along the ridge. Right. If you Hot have, air, right. right, if you have a ridge vent and you need the eaves to, maybe they could even be greater than the amount of air coming into the, the ridge. But you, and that's, that's okay, but you, to have a balance is really where you want it. Right, right. And you, um, you don't want an attic filled with stagnant hot air, basically. That's right. Or in the wintertime, you want it to be able to uh, breathe because condensation can fill up inside right. and it can create mold and rot issues. Right, yeah, absolutely. Which is it, no bueno. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's not uh, not right? not what we want or need. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So this is this is uh, this is amazing. So maybe we could walk through these these other products then. So yeah, um, this is this is a product made by Sharkskin. It's their ultra radiant um, um, roof underlayment, and this is working in conjunction with their ventilated shark mat. Sharkskin ventilated roof mat is what it is. And the way it works is pedestals go up, they're non-crushable, and you would cover this over your roof, and you would then apply this over the top with the radiant side facing down huh. towards the roof. Okay. And as long as you have um, this air gap, it, and you, you tie this in conjunction with ridge vent and events, mm -hmm. it allows air to 
um, circulate in a way that's going to keep your home in a great stasis of cool and, and, and I guess, warm, too. There's air flowing sort of horizontally, in this yep. case, through the air. Then. That's right. And, and it's driven by the, the differential in hot versus cold. Right. right. And because of the way um, these, the baffles work on the, on the ridge, it, this is kind of a half of a baffle, but it, it doesn't allow water to go inside, but it works the same way that an airplane wing works, and it draws the heat up. Mm -hmm. And so what you're doing is, is creating quite a, quite a bit of um, thermal isolation from, well, it's not insulating, it's isolating you from a lot of heat and, and um, allowing, allowing the building envelope to breathe. Intriguing, intriguing. There, there, there's so much very neat stuff happening these days with yeah. this kind of technology, other technologies. I had uh, on my Lakeable Science show, I, I had a guest a while ago talking about radiative photonic materials, these materials that are nanostructured to actually reflect back more heat than they, than they take in, almost, almost seeming to violate laws of physics. Isn't uh, that great? And then they dump heat out of it through a narrow envelope, which our atmosphere is transparent. And so the material sitting in the sunlight is actually cooler than the surrounding air. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, incredible stuff is going on, on, and you can just think about it in combination with these things. And you can see that we're really on the verge of some very, uh, very intriguing ways, uh, new ways of putting buildings together. Yeah, um, and, and, and its time has come because um, the older way, well, it, it, it it's a degradation of our of our materials, and it's a cost to heat and cool these these places. And this is going to help humanity in yeah. many ways, I think. Right. I mean, there are the estimates of the percentage of energy being used currently for air conditioning is already fairly substantial, and is predicted to go up rather substantially more as uh, our climate gets warmer and warmer, and right. more and more of the world develops uh, into sort of first world conditions and wants, wants air conditioning, basically. Right. We, we want to we can delay and defer air conditioning by, by, by building a building correctly, right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 And I, I was um, just going to mention a, a statistic that uh, we had the hottest record for the world in terms of heat this last month, oh, yeah. July oh, 2019. Europe, Europe was just breaking record after record after record. Right. I was seeing temperatures of 44, 46 degrees centigrade in like France. Mm -hmm. just, I mean, that, that's phenomenal. Yeah. That, that's, that's off the charts. Pretty I mean, warm. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, there, there, were, there were people, I'm sure, suffering and, and dying from that. So, uh, yeah, you want to be building, using the best available materials now that's to, to, right. to really, really take that into account. Yeah, and green materials that are that are good for our environment, that are good for us to use, and um, and the and these represent really the cream of the crop. Yeah, you were saying that these things are largely created through recycled materials. Yeah, seventy percent recycled. Wow. That's wow. right, and they're a hundred percent recyclable. Wow, mm -hmm. so that's incredible. They are because uh, I don't think fiberglass insulation cannot make anything like that claim, right? Right. Uh, Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm not certain, but yeah. I, I assume that that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. 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 That's uh, tr truly awesome. So um, let's, let's look, talk a little more about this, this balance between insulation and airflow. That, that we, I think in the next, maybe the next image, uh, a little more about, about some of that. So, yes. Yeah. So what you've got is um, you've got air that's coming in through uh, events. And they, the way it goes through, the, because heat rises, the attic, of course, mm -hmm. is going to be the collector of this heat. Right. And as a result of the ridge vent that you see, well, it's hard to see because they right. make them almost imperceptible to, right. to the eye. But this does allow that collection of hot air or vapor in the wintertime right. to escape. And it, and it creates, um, well, I, I guess um, a, quite a big percentage of a, of a savings in, in temperature. Yeah, excellent. We're going we're gonna to dig more deeply into this when we come back. I'm being told we need to take a quick break right now. Mary Jo Masters from 808 Building Supplies and Solutions is with me here today on Code Green. 
I'm your guest host for today, and I'll be right back in one minute. Hi guys, I'm your host Lillian Kumik from Lillian's Vegan World. I'm, I come to you live every second Friday from 3 p.m. And this is the show where I talk about the plant-based lifestyle and veganism. So we go through recipes, some upcoming events, uh, information about health, regarding your health, and uh, just some ideas on how you can have a better lifestyle, eat healthier, and have fun at the same time. So do join me. I look forward to seeing you. And uh, aloha. Aloha. My name is Wendy Lowe, and I want you to join me as we take our health back. On my show, all we do is talk about things in everyday life, in Hawaii or abroad. I have guests on board that will just talk about different aspects of health in every, in every way, whether it's medical health, nutritional health, diabetic health, you name it, we'll talk about it. Even financial health, we'll even have some of the Miss Hawaii's on board and all the different topics that I feel will make your health and your lifestyle a lot better. So come join me. I welcome you to take your health back. Mahalo. And welcome back to Code Green here on Think Tech Hawaii. I'm your guest host, Ethan Allen, uh, filling in for Howard Wig. Uh, and I have Mary Jo Masters from 808 Building Supplies and Solutions here with me today. Hi. We're talking about uh, the latest and greatest advances in passive uh, design technologies, green technology, ways to keep uh, houses warm in the winter, cool in the summer, uh, right. and materials that, that can actually be used in a lot of different situations too. But we, we, were, we were getting in right before the break to this issue of moving air sort of through and around your house. And I wanted to maybe dig a little more deeply in that. I, I think the next slide sort of uh, gets, gets into this. So why do you want more airflow here? I don't quite uh, necessarily understand that. Airflow is going to um, do a, a, a lot of good things for, for a home. What, what it's going to provide is... Um, it's going to provide dampness leaving so that it's not going to rot your roof. It's going to, and, and when you have wetness inside, it, it creates um, an unsafe envelope inside the home with, with mold and mildew buildup. Um, also, it's a, um, it's a way to um, just reduce the heat dramatically within the home in, in, in during the summer months. And so your cooling costs are going to go down dramatically. And, and what that means is um, it's an incredible cost savings for the home itself, for the materials, and for the, for the homeowner not having to pay higher electric bills or, you know, cooling bills to, to cool the property. Yeah, excellent. That make, makes a lot of sense. So, um, yeah, because you don't want a big bolus of hot air just sitting there right. on your ceiling, basically, or on your walls, kicking on in and heating up the air inside the house, right? That's you, right. You, you want to actually keep that moving away. And I think we have one more slide that shows some more of the airflow idea. Right, so you've got this material that now they're showing a horizontal flow. So what's, yep. what's, what's now, that? Now that is for the walls of the outside walls of the home and and what that does is it um, also is the same thing as as an as the as a roof ventilation this is this is for ventilation of, of the sides of the home and it also creates less moisture buildup it creates um, a bit of a, an insulation from the heat directly to the home. So it, it gives you the same benefits as, as the roofing ventilation. Okay, so in this case, uh, this would be on the outside of the insulation, really, right? Yes, okay, so yes would it be, would. This would be a siding, then this airflow, and then an insulating layer. Yeah. So you've got the outside air, then you've got this airflow that is presumably sort of neutralized partially, and then this insulation, and then your inside, which is now staying in a nice Good ambient temperature. That's exactly correct. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. No, it's, that's. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of interesting, uh, sophisticated science, but a lot of common sense in this too. Right. right? Yeah. yeah. It is. Excellent. Excellent. So, um, I think we have another another image here. That, um, ah, right. So, 
these, all these materials need to be installed. And we talked right. earlier a little bit, there are some differences in, in insula installation techniques, right? Yes. You, can't, you can't cut these to fit, right? You've got to get them the right size. Right. For, for, for the, the Panasonic right. panels, you need to order the correct sizes, or um, you could sandwich them into other um, poly ISO or other SIP panels. Okay. And, uh, and that way you're, you're better insured not to puncture the, um, right. the um, shell uh, on it. Basically. Yeah, right. yeah, right, right, the vacuum. Right. You don't want to puncture that vacuum by, all, by right. any, right. every means possible. And, these other roofing materials are not so constrained, right? Right, that's right. Um, and so the shark skin is, I guess, works in conjunction with um, the um, event and the ridge vent in creating an air gap with, um, um, this is a um, ultra radiant um, material that, that helps bounce back the uh, ultraviolet rays from the sun, mm -hmm. and that it, as a result of that, you you gain a ton of thermal isolation. Oh, excellent! And it really um, it, and what you you save so much in the long run for not having your home degraded, and also for the for the cost of the energy. Right, because if you're if you're Treating your basically your construct your home's constructed materials well, yeah. they are going to last longer if they're not being constantly exposed to high levels of moisture and, and you know, they're That's going right. to last longer. Going to save money in that way. That's you're right. Going to lower repair costs to your home. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's that's that's, that's incredible. So, uh, and all these materials now are, are presumably getting into an, into a realm where they're they're getting competitively priced too. Where yeah. where it's not it's not outrageously well, expensive. Well, they have they have to be. Yeah. They have to be, or else they, they you know, the consideration is, uh, you know, it makes it less, less attainable for people. So we, we have to be uh, in a competitive type of a situation. Sure. I mean, some materials you look at, and it's a slightly higher investment and maybe a slightly longer payoff in right. terms of, but, but then your payoff after that is really great. Because, that's, that's again, you're preserving your home materials better. You're continuing to get the, sa the energy savings out of them. So you know, it may be a little higher upfront cost, but yep. uh, ultimately after five or ten years, you begin to put money in your pocket for, that's for it. Yeah. 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 That's correct. Yeah. Excellent. That's that's certainly, uh, yeah, certainly all of us all of us want to use that. Amortizing those costs, you know, because just like the home purchase, I mean, it's it's uh, it's worthy of your your assets, yeah. retaining your assets to do that. Right. And then the, the, the sort of incredible nature of, going back to this Panasonic material, I mean, it allows you to presumably to make shelters in very extreme environments much more rapidly, simply, and easily than was attainable before at all. I would imagine groups yeah. who are doing uh, Antarctic uh, research and all are probably That's very right. excited to see this stuff yeah. because suddenly your building has a lot more space, it's not devoted to having thick walls filled with insulation, right? Right, yeah. right. Which, um, yeah, which is, can be very cumbersome to right. deal with and... Um, Huge shipping costs there right. and moving costs to get it installed. That's right. Installed. And this is much lighter, simpler, yeah. smaller, yeah. I can see yeah. that. It can, and it can be applied with uh, adhesive or tape mm -hmm. or um, mm -hmm. you can make frames with it to, to huh. install with frames. Yeah, so there's a, a variety of ways. And um, and it's and it's really um, people are just now beginning to wake up to mm. these to these concepts because we're learning more about things yeah. as time goes on and um, and I and I'm really happy to to be you know in in the know of of some of these fun products that are really worthwhile. Yeah, it's it it is it's great. I think we live in an amazing age when in so many different areas now we're, we're seeing these. Breakthroughs, things happen now that couldn't have happened five or ten years ago. Right. Uh, we, we can do things with yeah. telecommunications now that we couldn't yeah. do five or ten. We can do things in medicine, but here's here's a real, real sort of down, down to the ground, you know, on the ground kind of practical thing with, with building materials. We're, we're seeing that same kind of revolutionary breakthrough, and we're, yeah. we're able to build better than we were. Absolutely. Uh, and, 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 yeah. 
That, that's amazing. So, I mean, where, where is this? Where is this going? What do you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's 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 a fascinating thing. I think a lot of um, like the the fact that we use um, reflective materials comes a, a lot from from um, space and how we've had to learn to re-enter our atmosphere and things like that. And, mm -hmm. and so that has, I don't know, that's just a guess, but um, I really don't, I don't know. We can, we can throw a dart on the map and think about <laughs> where we're gonna go next. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's truly, truly incredible. I mean, when you, when you think of the, the uses of these kinds of materials and potential uses beyond just sort of the standard home building industry, yep. right? I mean, yeah. they do, you can envision, does this have application for air travel? For, Wrapping planes in, right. in, in this kind of installation will that make for a lighter, right. uh, lighter, more energy efficient uh, air travel? Uh, you know, it, uh, it's uh, limitless possibilities, yeah. Yeah. you know, and I and that's why we leave it to the architects to come up with all these <laughs> these ideas <laughs> it's, it's, about how to do. That, that, that's amazing. It's amazing. I, I think it's a, it's a great uh, great example of of why. I'll make my little plug here of why we need science education, right? For people to keep coming up with better and better ways of, of doing things, taking materials that we have already, yeah. thinking of novel, innovative ways of putting them together into new products, products that really answer human needs in a better way, allow yeah. us to be more efficient with the material use, energy use, right. all of these good things, right? That's right. Yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah, and that's. It sounds like this. Your your this group, uh, 808 uh, Building Supplies and Solutions, is, is deeply involved with with trying to move a lot of these out into the marketplace. Basically, yeah, we 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 enjoy making the world a better place in a greener way, mm -hmm. as green as possible, because um, it's our our world. We live in it. Mm -hmm. We might as well try to decontaminate mm -hmm. our building envelope and mm -hmm. to live in a cleaner. In a way, and these these offer that just in terms of, of temperature control, right? And yeah, far less material uh, use here, far less material yeah. waste then, far yeah. less material I mean, getting out into the environment and, and washing into our oceans. Yeah. So on sort of every level, these these seem like these products all seem like like winners. You know? Yeah, right. Well, that that's that's super. This is it's great to know that this kind of stuff is around. Uh, I I hope. Uh, I hope you see even more of it in the future, and that, yeah. that you keep pushing, pushing people to think more creatively and more innovatively about, about their their homes and how to build them. Yeah, I, I, that's that's the goal. That's why not? It's it's a passion close to our hearts, and um, and we and we enjoy being at the forefront of what is out there. What is the best that we can possibly have in this world that is going to be better and more efficient? So. Great. Let's, let's pop the logo up there for the, for the last slide, and uh, then we'll, we'll thank you very much, Mary Jo. It was great having you on here. Uh, I certainly learned, learned a ton, as I always do on, on my guest host. Um, so uh, I thank you for being here. And, thank uh, you for having me yes. on your show. Yeah, I you, really appreciate it. Uh, great having you, and I uh, wish you the best of luck. And then uh, until next week, I suspect Howard, Howard will be back. And until then. <laughs>